Welcome everyone. I'm Jeff Rumberg, Managing Partner of MetricNet. In Metrics Essentials for Contact Center Professionals, my goal is to teach you everything you need to know to leverage metrics for success in your contact center. Today, in the second module of our course, we're going to discuss the 80-20 rule for contact center metrics. As the name implies, you can get 80% of the value from just 20% of the metrics. This rule is also known as the Pareto Principle. It's important because it allows you to leverage just a handful of metrics to effectively manage your contact center. In module one of the course, I introduced the 20 most common metrics for an inbound contact center. In this module, we will focus on the key performance indicators, the KPIs from the list. Keep in mind that not every metric is a KPI. Unfortunately, in this industry, the terms metric and KPI tend to be conflated. They tend to be used interchangeably. All KPIs are metrics, but not all metrics are KPIs. So by focusing on just the KPIs, the performance indicators, we leverage the metrics that matter most. As an example, from the list of the most common metrics, I've highlighted the KPIs on this page. They include cost per contact, customer satisfaction, first contact resolution rate, agent utilization, agent job satisfaction, and average speed of answer. This is the 80-20 rule in action. I want to emphasize that you do have some flexibility here. If you don't track CSAC, customer satisfaction, but instead track net promoter score, you can use NPS as your quality KPI. Likewise, if you don't track average speed of answer, you can use percent of calls answered in 60 seconds as your service level KPI. Let's discuss why these are the KPIs. First, cost per contact is your primary measure of efficiency in the contact center, and customer satisfaction is your primary measure of effectiveness. Cost per contact and customer satisfaction. These are what we refer to as the foundation metrics because they are the two most important metrics you can track in the contact center. If you do nothing else after taking this course, you should commit to tracking cost per contact and customer satisfaction. The next two metrics are the key drivers of cost and quality. Agent utilization drives your cost per contact and first contact resolution drives your customer satisfaction. How do we know this? We look at the benchmarking data and here's what it looks like for customer satisfaction versus FCR, first contact resolution rate. You can see the correlation in the data. Moreover, we know this is not just spurious correlation, it is causation or cause and effect. I'll have a lot more to say about this topic in a subsequent module where I will take a deep dive on the cause and effect relationships amongst and between these metrics. But getting back to our 80-20 rule, the next two KPIs on the list are agent job satisfaction and average speed of answer. Agent job satisfaction is important because it has a secondary effect on just about every other metric in the contact center. And ASA is important because time, specifically the speed of response, matters to the customer. Final KPI is the balance score, which aggregates the first six KPIs on this page to create a single overall measure of success for your contact center. In fact, the next module of this course is dedicated to the balance score. This concludes our second module. I would invite you to join me for module three, where we will discuss the contact center balance scorecard. I want to thank you for joining me today. I'm Jeff Rumberg, managing partner of MetricNet.